new tiger. Extra stripy, extra ferocious, as requested. Can, uh, can someone just sign for this? Eh, hey, Nasha? Mm. Not this morning, Dennis. I'm off to the library. You're in charge till Gran gets here, so behave. No TV and no disasters. Reno Town was plagued by the volcano of crispy, crunchy doom. Everybody ran in terror from the lava, only to be overtaken by the milk tsunami. <laughs> disasters? Check. Now for TV. Hey! <laughs> Be in charge! He's brilliant! How'd you like the sofa, Nasha? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when Gran will get here. We interrupt this program with a news flash. A tiger has escaped from Beano Town Zoo. Earlier, I spoke to Sergeant Slipper, who's on the scene. Ah, well, we do have the matter under control, of course. So, do you know where the tiger is, Sergeant? Uh, no. No, not exactly, but Beano Town's best animal tracker, Parky Bowles, is on the case. And how do you intend to trap the tiger, Mr Bowles? Uh, well, a trapper never tells his secrets, so mind your own business. Sergeant Slipper, do you have any advice for our viewers whilst this animal is at large? Yes, yes I do. I'm ordering Beano Town to be in immediate lockdown. This tiger is dangerous. Everyone must stay indoors. I repeat, stay indoors. Everyone must stay indoors. Stay indoors, eh, Nasha? Nash! Hi! hi -ya! Hiya, Gran! Nash! Nash! Hi, <laughs> kids, come watch the Grandmeister. I'm on the last level of Golden Belt and I will not rest until I've won. Gran, there's a tiger on the loose, and me and Nasher are gonna catch it today. We'll be heroes. That's nice, Dennis. I join you, but I'm babysitting. Hi. Yeah! All clear. Stay alert, Nasher. The tiger could be anywhere. Nash. Nasher, Nasher, go, go, go! There's a dangerous animal on the loose. Yes, and he's ready to catch a tiger. <laughs> you couldn't catch a cold. Of course, tracking animals in the wild comes naturally to a military man like myself. <laughs> At ease, men. That is a lockdown. And another medal for bravery in the field for me. There are three essential stages of tiger stalking, track, beat, and capture. However, I shall be deploying Operation Hedgehog Defense. Don't tigers eat hedgehogs? Yes, yes, I suppose they do. Hi! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, be dear, Gran's just playing. <laughs> Slowly does it. Gotcha! And smash! Yes! Our tiger catcher works! Nash, nash! Now all we need is bait. Pies? Pizza? Hmm. Dennis, haven't you heard the news? Or do you need a grown up to explain it to you? Come on! Don't you want to help me catch a tiger, Walter? No, I don't. Turn it. Oh, that's a shame. I could have done with some bait. <laughs> There's a tiger on the loose! And we're gonna catch it! <laughs> oh, Pordy! Men, 
はバンカー Hunting's awesome. Are you kidding, Dennis? We're not allowed out. I can't even get home. Looks like it's boy against beast. Aww. Oh, sorry, Nasha. It's boy and hound against beast. And what if beast finds boy first and eats him? Ha! Nothing can stomach the menace. I'm indigestible. You really think the tiger's round here? Look, Nasha's definitely got the scent. Eh, uh, are you sure it's not just me dad's pies he's smelling? <laughs> Uh, says here you need to look for paw prints, broken twigs, and animal droppings in open green spaces. Oh, so glad tigers are vegetarian, Paul. Come on, Pyface. Let's go count Paul's eyes again. Good luck, Dennis. Come on, Nasha. Let's go catch us a big cat. in my park. One foot in that, and the tiger is mine. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> then we wait. <laughs> Nasha! Huh? <gasps> hey, you! Get away from my tiger trap! Ha! Call that a tiger trap? Any tiger worth his stripes would see that a mile away. Hey, don't you know you're talking to Beano Town's finest animal trapper? And trapping this animal is exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, we'll see about that. If anyone's going to catch that tiger, it's me and Nasha. <laughs> Look, son, why don't you and your mutt get yourselves off home and... <coughs> oh, what are you doing? <coughs> get off! That's <coughs> finest rump <coughs> steak! Fire. Cover anything in green paint? Or ketchup? Nope. Gran, they locked you in a cupboard, didn't they? Yeah. No. What? No disasters at all? I honestly haven't heard a peep out of them. And calm was restored to Beano Town today after dramatic events at the zoo. Incredible scenes here as a young brother and sister and an Abyssinian wirehead tripound returned the wild feline to its cage. This fearless crew, branded the Tiger Trio, have surely earned their stripes. Dennis! An angry mum's the only wild creature we should be afraid of. Run! Rush, 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 rush,
Keeping our treehouse a pest free zone. Claudius! Claudius! Oops! Speaking of pests. <laughs> what have you done with Claudius? Your monkey Moggy attacked us. Only because your mouldy mud chased him up there. Out of my way, I'm coming in. Into our treehouse? No way. Just you try and stop me. Man the defences, menaces! <laughs> from intruders. Result! <laughs> As if we let Walter or anyone into our treehouse. <laughs> Best den in the history of Beano Town. Best den in the history of the world. Oh, cool. Can I come and see it? <gasps> no, sorry. <laughs> no, not possible. Menace's only zone. No can do. Um, did you just say no to me? Uh, yep. Don't worry, Angel Face. I've seen their den. It's rubbish. My new den is far cooler than theirs. Really? What new den? Ta-da! Perfecto! You're a genius, Walter! An evil genius. <laughs> You're too kind. Took me all night to design these ownership papers for the treehouse. Nobody will know they're fake. <laughs> Nobody. Except me. <gasps> Angel Face, hand over that document. What's in it for me? You want to get into Dennis's treehouse, don't you? Well, I can help you if you help me. What do you need? D and G, track Walter's den with our secret weapon. Nash! One menace that dog sled, ready to mush. Nasha, you know what to do. Nash! Nash! Angel face! <laughs> 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 
place all over town. Yep. <laughs> Fun, wasn't it? Oh, not really. Ow! Oh, don't worry, Pie Face. Walter said once you'd finally caught up with me, I could take you to his new den. So, what are we waiting for? Of course, I'll have to blindfold you. Don't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> oh, are we nearly there yet? I'm hungry. Oh, we're here, all right. Ah. What? Welcome to my treehouse. This treehouse belongs to us. No, this treehouse belongs to me. Go ask your dad. The treehouse does belong to Walter. <gasps> he came earlier and showed us the property deeds. The properly what? Ownership papers, usually kept in Mayor Scrimp's office. They say the tree and the treehouse belong to Walter's family. Walter owns the treehouse. That can't be right. I guess we'll need a new hideout. I know the perfect place. Pie face, sitting in your dad's old pie boxes in his pie shop is not the perfect place. Of course it is. Close to home, pies on tap. Perfect. Isn't that right, Paul? What do you mean, no? Miss, 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 miss. At least someone's happy. We are menaces, and we are not letting Walter take our treehouse. We're taking it back. Nash, this is the treehouse. Walter's the pepper pot. Me, Nasher, Curly, Pie Face. We sneak in, dodge our own traps, and take back what's ours. <laughs> oh, tasty bun, Daddy. <laughs> We've been expecting you, Dennis. Bring it on. Walter, look, I'll pop down to the town hall first thing in the morning and get you a copy. The town hall? No, well, I, um, I mean... You mean those papers of yours are fake. The treehouse never belonged to you, Walter. No, I mean, uh, no need. I've gone off this place. You can keep your stupid treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> The treehouse was way too easy to break into. We need an old mattress, a broken bicycle, and all the baked beans we can carry. In the morning, thank you. I've had enough excitement for one night. Walter, I'm coming in. Now! <laughs> old baked beans. Dennis! Woohoo! <laughs> It's good to be home. Nash! Nash!
master. No, oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but we just can't do this detention. Places to go, people to menace. Well, you should have thought of that earlier, shouldn't you, Dennis? Please, Mrs Creature. It'll clear in a few hours. I promise I'll make it up to you. You'll make it up to me by writing a thousand times I will not make stink bombs ever again! Oh, this is bad. Really bad. Oh, what's wrong, Dennis? We've done loads of detentions. Yeah, and it's not that long a sentence. Yeah, but Mayor Scrimp's unveiling his new statue at five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Time for some menacing genius. I have to be there. <gasps> 3.30! Better get a Code 1 menace alert to Nasha to help spring us. <gasps> a Code 1? Trust me, it'll be worth it. Plan B. What about the torturing teacher over there? This calls for a 40 wink blink think to get us out of the clink. And I know just the think. <laughs> I, I mean, thing. And the key for the ref is to make sure the last defender is in line. <laughs> Offside rule nap attack. Works every time. Real curly. Now, let's bust out of here, find Nasha, and leg it to the park. Another faulty ball. I must have a word with the manufacturers. OK. Plan C. <laughs> Aha! The confiscation cupboard. Should be one or two useful things of mine in there. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. Oh, oh. 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 <sighs> Phew! That was close. Oh. Now. Who's good at tying knots? No, 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 Dudley. You've got it all wrong. It was Marla's seventh symphony that was in E minor. What the? <laughs> well, well, well. I wonder what the headmaster would say if he saw this. Let's find out, shall we? Real plan, Dennis. Just enough time to get a quick bite of pie. No can do. We've got to get to the park before five. Um, <clears throat> Dennis. Sir, this is just the kind of irresponsible behaviour I've come to expect from these rapscallions. What? You snitch, Walter! Uh, what he means is we were just checking that the emergency escape routes are working, you know, in case of an emergency. Yeah, no, that all seems to be fine. Oh, please! You're not going to fall for that, are you, Headmaster? What? Oh, no, of course not. I wasn't born yesterday. Oh, of course you weren't. You're much, much, much older than that. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. It's better if I keep an eye on them from now on. I already know the offside rule. Are you sure, Headmaster? Yes, yes, don't worry. I've recruited a little extra help. To it, men. I want those prisoners contained. Whatever it takes. He's been listening to too many of the Colonel's war stories. Walter's not the only one we have to get past. No worries. Headmaster, have you met Paul the Potato? Oh, 
thinks you are feeling very sleepy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I see what you're doing. Well, you won't catch me. I mean... Well done, Pie Face. You too, Paul. Right, you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, definitely. Brilliant, Dennis. Genius, yeah. No, sorry, no idea. It's finally time for Plan D. Cover me, men. I'm going in. They're coming! Stand by to repel! Fire for! Charge! <laughs> Call that a water pistol. This is a water pistol. <laughs> OK, so they have the doors and the windows covered. But we haven't tried going down. I'm starving. By my calculations, we should be underneath the perimeter fence around about next Tuesday. Well, that's no good, Curly. Got to be there by five o'clock or we'll miss everything. <gasps> What's that noise? My stomach? Nope. I'd know that sound anywhere. <laughs> Brilliant, Nasha. I knew you'd get here. Eventually. <laughs> Nasser got in. <gasps> we can go out the same way. And that's plan D and G. We'll get to the park if we double quick crawl. Lead the way, Pie Face. Oh, sorry, Dennis. Must have been the pies at lunch. Oh, we'll have to make the tunnel a lot bigger. Nasher will sort it out. Yes, yes. <laughs> Fantastic! We'll be in the park in time. Ha! Keep it up, men. Those prisoners are slippery. Could pop up anywhere. <laughs> Free at last. Not on my watch. <laughs> Like I said, uh, I'm not the kind of fool to let myself be hypnotized. Ah, sorry, Dennis. It's half past four. I think it's game over. Game what? Over. Pfft, no way! We're Team Menace. We never give up. Evening, ladies. Good night, young man. All right, remember our guard's motto. Be prepared for anything. Those prisoners could make a break for it at any moment. doing here, boys? Detention finished half an hour ago. What? Uh, do tell Walter he can go. Poor boy will be guarding you all night otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> How about Walter? Oh, we'll let him know eventually. <laughs> Come on! And it gives me great pleasure to have <laughs> <laughs> my statue. I don't know much about art, Nasha, but I know what I like. Nash, Nash, na, na, Nash. Only a few more hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, time to go to Plan L. Plan L? Like it! <laughs> Ready 
the ultimate water slide of doom, Nasha. Nash, Nash. Oh, At least take your jumper off, Dennis. It's so hot today. <laughs> <laughs> Over. Chap at work lent me this research prototype he's testing out. Rejuvenating regeneration for the follically challenged. Hmm. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> Wowza! <laughs> Time for some hair-raising action, eh, Nasha? Nasha! <laughs> Remember, class, no feeding the animals. Is that clear, Pie Face? Absolutely, miss. These babies are all mine. <laughs> What's in the bag, Dennis? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, apes are our closest relatives in the animal kingdom. 95% of their DNA is identical to ours. Oh, <gasps> oh, <gasps> banana. banana. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the Beano Town hairy mammoth. Mammoth? They're extinct. Duh. <laughs> oh, yeah? Bet you'll lunch that there's a mammoth here. <laughs> You're on. Me too. I'm me. <laughs> oh. I don't suppose yours has got a pie in. <laughs> Oi, what's happened to Elvis? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, school now. <laughs> Nasha, come back. Let the medicine begin. Nasha, Nasha. <laughs> Funny you should ask. He went in next door's pool and came back looking like this. Oh. I don't suppose you'd know how that might have happened, Dennis. Uh, sorry, Mum. No good apologising to me. Apologise to your dad. He went in after Nasha. Well, I think you look cool, Dad. <laughs> Good afternoon. We've had reports of a gorilla on your premises. A gorilla, Sergeant? Oh, there's no gorilla here. <laughs> Got ya! <laughs> Come on, you. Back to the zoo. But, but Sergeant, he's not dangerous. Ah, looks dangerous to me. There's only one place for a creature like that. <laughs> yeah. Done. Get in! We've got to follow that van! Yes. <laughs> Stop! He's not a gorilla! He's my dad! Don't be daft! Whoa. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you out. Am I glad to see you? It's me, Pieface's dad. Walter's dad invited me for a dip in their pool, you know, because it was so hot. And Luke! Still, three bananas, though. Oh. 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 
Oh, this is bad. No, this is super bad. Gotta get Dad out. Better get mine out too. Yeah. Huh? Mum got a call from Dad inside the gorilla enclosure. He's loving the free bananas, though. OK, we need to find an antidote fast. Nasha, you'll have to be our guinea pig. I, I mean, dog. Nash, 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 nash. That's brilliant! Seriously, though, we'd better find the antidote. Nash, nash, nash. Nash, 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 nash. Nasha, we'll think of something. Nash. <laughs> okay, let's see if test number 273 will do the job. <laughs> yes! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Curly, you're a genius! Get that boy a striped jumper! What's the magic formula? One part liquid, add three parts dissolving agent, add to the hair restorer, shake repeatedly for ten minutes, then dilute with a 100% purification solution. What? Water! Pure tap water! The chlorine in the pool mixed with the hair restorer caused a chemical reaction. This created a new super formula that sped up the hairiness. <sighs> I diluted the pool water with simple tap water and ta-da! The super formula was neutralized and we get zero hairiness. Okay. I didn't understand any of that, but it sounded great. Come on, let's go give our dads a really good soaking. Oh, <laughs> <that's me. laughs> Zoo's closed. Too many new gorillas. We're sending the extra ones away. What? <sighs> hmm. Right. Operation Super Nash. Nash, Nash. <laughs> Now what? Over there! <laughs> Dad! Phew, that's better. Bit of fresh air. It's very hot being airy, you know. It could just be an actual gorilla. <laughs> Oi! Over here! Did it! <laughs> Phew! Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> Better give him a hand. <laughs> Get ready, everyone! Who? <laughs> thank yous. Oh, I don't know how I would have gotten back into their enclosure if it wasn't for Nash, eh? Nash, Nash! You've all got free zoo passes for life! <laughs> Anyone seen my dad? Uh, was I supposed to get out? Everything's back to normal. The gorillas are back in their cages, Pie Face's dad's making banoffee pies, and dad's got his bald patch back. <laughs> um, Dennis, isn't there a ban on using water because of the heat wave? Yeah, but I'm using special water.
a Beano Town's exhibition of brilliant old stuff. Ancient artifacts, ancient weaponry, and ancient dinosaurs. <laughs> what? Who? Ahem, ancient dinosaurs. Oh, brilliant old stuff. Like this, a uh, fridge from ancient Sweden. Actually, Mayor, that's obviously a sarcophagus from ancient Egypt. <laughs> if you'll indulge me. Oh. Oh, indulge Walter? <laughs> no way. <laughs> As any expert Egyptologist can authenticate, this belongs to fearsome pharaoh Prank and Karma. Rather reminiscent of me, really. Supremely intelligent, highly revered, and utterly fearless. Really, Walter? <laughs> A priceless relic, Dennis. This is worth three days' detention at least. <laughs> Spare your scratch. Like a painting Dad shed and fix that. Maybe, Dennis. But I fear you may have unleashed an evil menace even greater than yourself. A menace worse than me. <laughs> Good one, Walter. Yeah, that'll be the day. <laughs> Looking sharp, Sergeant. <laughs> Need milk. A little bit of. That's it! Uh oh. Dennis! Dennis! It's for you. He switched my shampoo! He put cranberry jam in my cup! He meddled with my milk! He pranked my pepper! <laughs> They're all brilliant pranks. Ingenious. And I'd love to take credit, but it wasn't me. Yes, <laughs> no, it's true. Dennis has been with us all morning, trying to prove pigs can fly. Then, who was it? It could only be the curse of prank and karma. The, the what? According to ancient prophecies, he who disturbs a pharaoh's rest shall invoke a terrible curse. Yes. A curse of bad acting. Bad luck shall afflict the culprit's entire village for all eternity. Sorry, Dennis. Got caught up in the moment. We're all doomed. Uh, someone call the police. Oh, wait, I am the police. Quick, someone call me! Says here, he who disturbs my sleep must cook a sacrificial feast for the great pregnant girl. Sacrificial feast, eh, Walter? Delivered here at nightfall. Better do what he says, Dennis. Dennis, you can't do that. What a the nonsense. What a load of potential pranking more like. <laughs> All right, Walter, you're on. If it's a feast you want, it's a feast you'll get. On the menaced up menu tonight, Beef Wellington. Oh, with Wellington boot, Hawaiian pizza. With Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> And Mississippi mud pie with real mud. <laughs> Hope Walter's hungry. Dinner is served. Diners on the move. Bang on time. <laughs> Welcome to Cafe Menace. What? Walter, what about the c curse? <laughs> There's no such thing. I was the mastermind behind the curse of prank and karma. Dennis doesn't humiliate me and get away with it. <laughs> uh, uh, this is disgusting. <clears throat> nom, nom, nom. Genius. Where's a straight jumper? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Pranking works up an appetite. <laughs> Who's hungry? <laughs> I knew you'd make a disgusting feast, Dennis. Did you really think I'd be fooled? 
cute. <laughs> My tongue tastes like puddle. Right, menaces, game on. Time for us to make the best prank in history. Walter! 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 Huh? Oh. It is I, Sirson Pharaoh, Franken Cargo! By meddling with me, you have disturbed my 3,000 year rest and unleashed the curse of the many! What? My face! Oh, sorry. Um, the curse of the many! Frank and Karma died 4,000 years ago. <laughs> nice try, Dennis, but get your fat straight. Good night. <laughs> oh, you can't fool Walter. He's an expert orthodontist. Egyptologist, Pathis. Don't worry, we're not finished yet. Walter, beware the curse of the raiding frog. Raining frogs, eh? <gasps> Looks like you've been cursed. Only by you, Dennis. <laughs> Beware the curse <laughs> of the locust plague. <laughs> 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 locusts, eh, Walter? Oh, looks like an ancient curse to me. Buy off, Dennis. <laughs> to spook Walter. What about the curse of the, um... Robot pirate? Uh, no. Killer potato? Um, not quite. What about the curse of the, uh... Dennis, have you seen my hairdryer? Uh, no, Mum! Aha! Mummy! The curse of the mummy! Yes! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! We need one big roll of toilet paper. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Dennis! One ancient dinosaur. <laughs> and one know-it-all next-door neighbour. Really, Mayor? You're appointing me to collect the sarcophagus and take it back to the pyramids? Uh, yes, we need an expert Egyptologist. Well, it would be an honour. <laughs> Who's there? Dennis? Is that you? <laughs> Nothing to worry about, Walter, old boy. Just a, a dusty old relic. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> See? Nothing to fear. My slumber! It's a good, Oh, Walter, that mummy is really scary. <laughs> That's the colonel, Pyphys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brilliant! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
frog. Fake puke, plastic or rubber? Plastic. Oh yes, go Team Menace! <laughs> Three large pepperonis, please. Deep filled, extra everything. <laughs> Pizza's off. Huh? Walter? Where's good old Brenda? Oh, good old Brenda will be absent for a few days. As a consequence, the headmaster has afforded me the opportunity to elevate nutritional standards at our beloved school. Huh? Pizza's off. <laughs> Two bits of lettuce and a broad bean. I don't even like broad beans. Who does, Curly? Another pie crumb, anyone? Look at us. Scavenging in school bags for scraps. Ooh, breadstick. <laughs> oh, breadstick. Oh, pencil. Kids like us need real food. And if we gotta make with some serious menacing to get it, that's an added bonus. So there I was, <laughs> helping the family of hedgehogs across the autobahn. But with my nutritionally balanced menu, pupils will benefit from an immediate improvement. Do your worst, B. Along with a 9% reduction in their tendency to be irritating, smelly little oiks. Yeah! 9%? <laughs> you are clever, Walter. <laughs> Come, sir. Observe. <laughs> He threw up in my chef's hat, then he fired me. And goodness knows who will get to do tomorrow's school lunch. Hello, sir. My Auntie Beryl does catering. Nutritious, delicious dinners? Yeah, why not give her a call? Bye! Hello? Yes, this is Auntie Beryl's catering service. <laughs> Let's go serve up some fun. Lovely! Who's the pizza? <laughs> We're running out of mash. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, those dinner ladies, they're imposters. It's Dennis. What? Don't be so silly, Walter. It's his Auntie Beryl. But, sir, look. <coughs> Ooh. 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 One of them is a dog. Oh, Walter. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Um... Nasha, Nasha, Nash? Ah, yes. Uh, Mrs. Um, Nasha, Nasha, Nash. Walter, lots of elderly ladies grow a few whiskers. Don't be so rude. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, I thought Walter's head was going to explode. Uh, hi, Auntie Beryl's catering here. Tomorrow's order is six bags of potatoes. Oh, Jay, that ball. A family reunion. 40 packs of fish fingers. 50 large pies. 150 very large. Make that 150 very large pies. And 227 sausages. Nash. Sorry, 228. Thank you. Hello. This is Auntie Beryl's catering again. I'd like to change tomorrow's lunch order. What? There's been a mistake. No mistake, doll. Two tons of ice cream in one unfeasibly giant scoop. Ta-da! 
<laughs> Excellent. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? <laughs> Auntie Beryl, I've just had today's lunch order. Two tons of ice cream. Ice cream? No, 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 no ice cream here. Not a single scoop. I'm coming right over. What's all this about? <laughs> Half a ton of live lobsters? My face. Diversion, if you please. Hello. Have you met Paul the Potato? He's having his nap. <laughs> Get off me! <gasps> Dennis, please tell me we are not selling cans of Raspberry Rocket! <laughs> Full of sugar! Kids go hyper! Good hyper or bad hyper? Disaster hyper! Um, everyone, whatever you do, do not under any circumstances drink this! <laughs> Get rid of this stuff! OK, see ya! Really, I didn't order any of those things! OK, on that! You get rid of it? Yeah! Where? Oh, I dumped it in that big bin with a picture of a lobster on it! Cool! Now! You what?! Sorry to trouble you again, Auntie Beryl, but uh, the school food inspector has turned up. Uh, he wants to, um... What is it you want to do again? Inspect the school food, obviously. Everything is all right, isn't it? <laughs> yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> Curly, Nasha, you've got to delay this inspector guy! <laughs> OK. All we got to do is calm everyone down and get rid of an army of hyper lobsters. Can't be that hard. <laughs> Listen up, you lot! Everybody got to chill right now or else. <laughs> well, she's not our usual dinner lady, but... Herbal tea. Brilliant, eh? Now... We just need to... Sorry. All gone. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then there's Mrs. Nasha, Nasha, Nash. Lovely lady, but don't mention the beer. <laughs> Golly, hello, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, plan D and G it is. Just change suck to blow. This ought to cool everyone down. Water? Disguise? Rubbish. Timing? Perfect. Walter! I can explain! Oh, no, no, I can't. Two lettuce leaves and a broad bean? Next! Great to have you back, Brenda. Nash! <laughs> 